There's an exotic out there that I do not see. Not in PvE, not in PvP. Since they were brought back, I don't think I've seen them in the game at all. That's what this video is about. Radiant Dance Machines 2.0, the after nerf edition. When they came out, they were severely broken due to the stacking of gains from things like Bomber, Dynamo. You were able to dodge your little heart out and get a lot of things for completely free. Bungie wasn't okay with that, and that's understandable. They were brought back in line, and now it's kind of like they were never even added in the game in the first place. Did we forget? Are there deeper issues going on? Is it the same? How well does it work? Can you do some cool things with them? Yes, you can. Amazing! But this doesn't tell the whole story. I have used them, and I'm going to suggest four best skill trees to use them with if you choose to. But I have found that these definitely are not a true neutral exotic anymore. I think everyone was really blindsided by all the free things that you got, that you could use it on any subclass and do well, not anymore. You can use it on any subclass currently, but there are some that will outperform others every time. The exotic perk is the dance. Activating your dodge ability near targets allows you to dodge additional times for a short duration. These actually work the same way that they did when they first dropped. And it gets me wondering, was it the pure cheese that made them good? Was that the only thing good about them? Or is there some depth here into the hunter play style? When you're within 15 meters of an enemy, the text multi-dodge is available, and once you dodge, it then says multi-dodge. For six seconds, you can dodge your heart out, six of them. Whenever you're not 15 meters in, in the buff goes away. So maybe you move out of that space, or your enemy does, outside of 15 meters, it goes away. Or say you start dodging, it's a 1v1, and you get a kill on your opponent, the timer goes away. So does that make Six Coyote, the original double dodge chess piece, useless? No. That has two timers, you can use those two dodges whenever you would like. Not 15 meters and in. But no mistake, the Radiant Dance Machines are still pretty good. The issue I see is with something like Stompies, you get a ton of free benefits all the time. You jump higher, you slide further, you play a different game. It enhances the Hunter kit at all times. No penalties. These have constraints on how that they're used, which is fine, as it should be. But with the changes coming to dodge, I'm gonna bring this up now and at the end of the video after I get done with the subclass trees, if these aren't being used right now, I don't see a future where they're magically going to become a top pick. Because remember, the dodge, it's no longer going to break projectile tracking, which is okay. That's things like skips, you know, being able to dodge away from them. That's a big one. But remember, they didn't say anything about it breaking aim assist. That's what the dodge is really good for in the Crucible. And with the changes, the Marksman dodge tier 10 mobility increased from 11 seconds to 14 seconds. Base cooldown is unchanged at 29 seconds. The Gambler's dodge, the most used dodge, Tier 10 mobility cooldown increased from 11 seconds to 18 seconds. Base cooldown duration from 29 to 38 seconds. With abilities coming at a premium, once they lay down this ability foundation, something like the Radiant Dance Machines starts to get hurt a little bit. Because of this, I hope that they get a little bit more, and that little bit more would be a true neutral exotic perk, one that you can use with any subclass at any time, and that perk, I feel, should be what it had in Destiny 1, a strafe scaler. You move more quickly while aiming your weapon. I feel that that would be an appropriate addition to the Radiant Dance Machines now. Add a stray scaler that's similar to the Stasis Elemental Capacitor. It would be a welcomed addition. I feel that would give it more dynamic playability, but we can only dream. Now, all of the perks like Dynamo, Utility Kickstart, they still do work, but they're applied after the multi-dodge counter is over. It's delayed. So should you be using the Radiant Dance Machines? You can make plays with them. One of the biggest things that they do is that they make you a pest. Plain and simple, when we spawn, we have two shots and a special weapon. And as I showcased in the little small clip in the beginning, players are gonna have a fuse and a shock and a sniper. When you start dodging in close quarters, I've found more often than not, you make them waste those two shots. You're a lot to deal with. As with my enemy in that clip, their two shotgun shots were over. All they could do is melee me. So that brings me to the first subclass that the Radiant Dance Machines excel with, and that's Top Tree Night Stalker. Main perk, Vanishing Step. There's no surprises here. It's the idea that you can activate it around a corner or going right up to an enemy, go straight invisible and keep that invisibility. You're kind of able to control the gunfight at that point. And real quick, when you're multi-dodging, it's really important to keep it somewhat random with your movement. There's been so many times where I do juke players out and it's made a lot harder on them when you're invisible. From what I've played with, I do feel that Night Stalker is a top pick for Radiant Dance Machines. However, Graviton is going to be a better pick overall, all around. And these are the types of issues that the Radiant Dance Machines continue to run into, and it's a shame. 
Next, Top Tree Arcstrider, specifically for the tumble kit that it has. Getting a melee final blow resets your dodge, deadly reach, a longer melee lunge after you dodge. Top Tree Arc Shatter works great with Radiant Dance Machines. It's one of the best. You're able to dance around your enemies, come out of that dodge when you want with the long melee, and oh yeah, landing that melee final blow gets you some health regeneration. That is the combat flow perk. With abilities being less prevalent, at least it looks to be, in this space you should only be really worrying about their weapon, their melee, weapon versus weapon. You're buying time with your dodge, you have the long melee proc'd, it works very well. Get health back if you land that melee, get the dodge back, it's good. Next, Bottom Tree Arc Strider. With abilities taking longer, perks like Focus Breathing, they're going to get better. Sprinting recharges your dodge. Combat Meditation when you're low health. Melee and Grenades recharge faster. But for the Dance Machines, it's all about Lightning Reflexes. You're harder to kill while dodging. You can take a Golden Gun shot. You have a lot of DR, damage resistance. When you start dodging and going off, you are a ball of damage reduction. The Radiant Dance Machines are one of the best aggro exotics in the game with Bottom Tree Arc Strider, because if you were to start dodging with multiple enemies around you, in front of you, and you have teammates with you, to your enemies, you are close to them, you are a threat. But what you're really doing is buying time, taking damage. Of course, you're going to come out of your dodge, get a final blow when you can. But again, just like Night Stalker, with Bottom Arc Strider, even though nerfed, the Frosties are going to be really good with it. Then Worm Husk. That's always been a great combination because you're taking damage reduction while you're dodging, but while you're dodging, you're getting health back. With Top 3 Arc Strider, there's a number of exotics that work well. Assassin's Cow, Liar's Handshake to name a few. And the last tree is going to be Stasis. You have the Durance Fragment where your opponent is slowed a little bit longer. You have the Aspect where your dodge slows nearby targets. Even though the Stasis Slow Dodge only works on the first dodge, that's perfectly fine. Because if you slow them with the first one, their movement is severely hindered. You can dodge freely around them looking for your opportunity. They won't have their lunge range. They won't have their full kit available. It's very simple here. You slow them and you keep them contained to do whatever you want with your dodges. I'm not going to say that these are bad. They're not bad. I refuse to say that. You can make plays with them. You've seen it in some clips. There's some potential there. It can work well. But even though I'm not going to say that they're bad, I can and will say that they're outclassed. When we pick an exotic, we have clear goals in mind, whether that be making a Young Ahamkara Spine Build, Getaway Artist, Phoenix Cradle, we know what we're doing. You're playing to that, or you're on autopilot, one-eyed mask, stompies, steps. The path of least resistance, with high upside, no downside. With the Radiant Dance Machines, other exotics paired with the things that I went over do do it better. They're a little bit more designed. Why would you run Radiant Dance Machines with a longer timer tier dodge in the future with Top Tree Night Stalker when you get more benefit out of Graviton with the tree? Why do it with Arc Strider when Liar's Handshake is there, Assassin's Cowl? Why with Stasis when Bacchus is there? Why any of them if Stompies are the way that they are? And I'm seriously debating on making my Stompies video. I'm going to bring a lot to that conversation, ways to change them, how I feel about them, and what I've seen. And with changes, I'm actually suggesting a buff, believe it or not. They've gone on for way too long how they are. They make a ton of exotics almost pointless, on the edge of pointless. Example, Radiant Dance Machines. That's why a suggestion of a little extra adding to the strafe speed, like it did in D1, on top of what it does now. And they could even do it with a weapon class similar to how Peacekeepers work with an SMG on Titan. Make that strafe speed work with, I don't know, a pulse rifle. Faster strafe with a pulse or scout. Just a little something on top to separate it with what you're doing. These aren't bad. They're overshadowed. They're outclassed. I've had a lot of fun with them, and what is nice about Destiny is that it's ever-changing. But if certain things aren't changed, the more that they're going to stay the same. And the more that they stay the same, we're going to have more situations like Radiant Dance Machines. I haven't seen anyone use these, and I can see why. However, especially in some downtime, I do encourage you to give them a shot for a game or two, see if you can get anything going. You might slay out. Who knows? Currently, it's not the Radiant Dance Machine's time, but who knows? Maybe one day it will be. If you're new here, remember to hit the subscribe button, and if you are subscribed, thank you so much for your support. And if you're looking for a new controller, I am partnered with Scuff Gaming. Use the link down below and my code COOL at checkout for a discount. Let's talk about Radiant Dance Machines down below where they fit in the meta, if you've used them recently, what are your thoughts? Thank you for watching, and until the next one, I am Cool Guy.